This is a relatively short video segment that I'm doing to uh, talk about uh, a situation where you want, you have a geometry and you have multiple restraints and multiple loads and different tasks to perform, and you don't want to do these in a uh, in separate separate analysis file. You try to organize your work all within the same analysis file. Okay. Now, uh, as I pointed down here, this is not rocket science, but it may be helpful for the novice and the beginners to uh, to uh, use Scapio's FBA uh, capability for simple problems. Now, uh, just for the sake of concreteness, uh, so that there is no ambiguity here, I take a structure which is of that dimension, 10 by 10 by 1 by 1, made out of steel, and I'm going to do a bunch of things to it. For example, first, what I like to do is to clamp the two ends, and I'm going to use solid model, but the solid elements, by the way, clamp the two end faces, uh, and apply a uh, apply a load. Uh, let's say, uh, uh, obviously, I cannot put it at the end, so let me put it uh, somewhere. Actually, I'm going to. Uh, Uh, I'm going to put, for example, clamp, clamp the two ends and then put a load of, let's say, a thousand pounds on that top face and do a static case, static analysis. Then I want to come back and uh, repeat uh, a different problem uh, with the same geometry. For example, clamp this end and apply a force of a thousand pounds actually this way. And then I want to come and say, oh, yeah, so. What about the natural frequencies of that face case? In other words, I want to find the natural frequencies of that top structure where both ends are clamped. And then I want to come back and say, okay, how about if you want to find the buckling load, for example, for this situation? So clamp at the two at the end, left end, just like the second case, and a, an unknown load, which is our basically buckling load, uh, applied to the right side. So I want to do these problems, okay? Now, let's go and make our geometry. Start with the part file. All right. Uh, on that vertical plane, I will make a one by one square. And I'm not using I'm not using any fancy stuff, symmetry and things like that. It's just that. This is the process that I want to show you. So this is one inch. And there's one inch. Okay, exit and pad it by 10 inches. This is going to look something like this. All right, we're going to make this thing out of steel. So, uh, here is apply material. Uh, it's metal, steel for the sake of uh, concreteness. We do that. Uh, no, me, please, let me down here. Okay, uh, we're we're done as far as the geometry is concerned. This is it. So now we're going to go to generative structure analysis. Notice that when we go there. In this window, the first thing that pops up is static analysis. And obviously, the order that I want to do these is static, static, etc. If that's the case, okay, I'll say static analysis. All right. And then I'm going to, this is static case one that you're looking at. Okay. So we're going to do uh, uh, clamp this end. All right. And count the other end. We could have done it in the same uh, uh, in, in one shot, by the way. Okay. And now let's see. We want to apply a load of a thousand pound on the top face. Okay. So uh, this is total force on that face, top face, a thousand pounds. So it's going to be minus one thousand to make it look downward and there we are. You can see that. Okay, very good.
All right, so now we're going to run it. Here's the compute. Now notice here we have option, all. Of course, there's nothing to all here because there's only one static case that we're doing. Oh, if you want to generate the image, this is, this is all you need to do. And uh, that's it. So uh, it doesn't matter what I pick. I can say all, and it's going to run this static solution, static case one solution. So we say all. And it's done. So let's look at the, for example, deflection. Notice that they have three zero six four inches. So I'll write, it, I'll write this thing down. Uh, the, the maximum deflection that we have is um, zero point zero 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 six eight four inches. That's the first thing. Good. All right, and. Uh, as far as case one is concerned, this is it. Now, I want to repeat that. I don't want to fool around with this load. I want to keep it here, okay? I don't want to fool around with these uh, restraints. I want to keep them there, okay? Uh, but uh, now I'm going to do ins insert another static case, yeah? Insert static case. Now, it asks me, do you want the load to be the same? The answer is no. Of course, this is going to be new. Do you want the strains to be the same? Uh, the answer is no, this is going to be new. I say OK. So notice that another static case has been generated for me. Now I have to go and do the, 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 uh, the restraints. For example, this end is clamped. And on that end, I apply a, a total force of 1,000 pounds. Uh, of course, that's going to be in the direction x, so this is going to be zero, and this is going to be 1,000 pounds in the x direction. You can see that, it's compressing it right there. See, see that? Good. And then we say OK. Now, if I say compute, by the way, notice that right now, stat this static case is underlined, so uh, basically, I'm working with this fellow, right? Okay. So if you click on compute, it says, do you want me to run everything? Now, if you say run everything, it's going to start with the very top and run static case one and then does static case. I don't want to do static case one because nothing has changed there. So I can change that and say, do it by restraints, for example, or by case. Uh, analysis case solution, you can do it here, click on it, and it says, pick me, pick it. So I, I don't want to do this, I want to do that, and then say, okay. Done. So let's look at deflection, displacement, and as you see, this is compressed. Now, to convince you that the old guy is still here, what I can do, I can go there, let me deactivate this for you. Let me deactivate this. I can go there and double click on this, but it tells you that, wait a minute, your current uh, uh, case is here. So you're trying to plot something in the other guy. So we say, fine, no problem. We go put the cursor on this static case, the very first one that I did, right click, set as current case. And now if I double click on this, or activate it actually, you see that though that stuff is already here. Nothing is lost. And this is here too. So if you go here, right click set as current case, double click on this, you get your compression. Good. Okay, so now we go here and see what, what is the next task. I want to do the clamp clamp, but finding natural frequencies of it. So I say fine insert a frequency case it says okay do you want the restraints to be something that you already have or do you want a brand new restraint well in this case i'm doing clamp clamp so i might as well say reference and it says where is it and it's right here it's, it's right there in the case, first case that i did right there see that and then uh, for mass i don't have any masses and that's it uh, it, it it looks like I could have also done it by this static case solution. For example, 
I, I can, uh, let, let me uncheck that. If I do this, it says go pick it. So I'm pretty sure uh, it look, doesn't look like it actually. So, uh, yep, so, oh, here. I'm pretty sure I could have gone here instead of selecting by this, the restraint, I can go and say selecting. Select the solution case one, which automatically inherits those uh, uh, those restraints. So I could have done it by restraint, or I can do it. I'm just saying, yeah, go to that problem. Obviously, ignore all the loads because we're doing a natural frequency, and say okay, good. Now, so when I try to run it. I want to select it by, uh, see, I don't want to do all, because all doing all means everything is going to be done. Uh, what, what I can do is by analysis case solution, and the analysis case is this frequency one. And I say, okay. Done. Okay, so let's look at the, the natural frequencies extracted, et cetera. By the way, the reason this is sitting here is because that was active. So let me deactivate. Uh, let me, uh, let, 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 I don't want to see this thing. This is active, so uh, actually this is also active. Yeah, good, good. And uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so uh, let's look at the uh, deflection. Double click on it. Under occurrence, we have all the different frequencies extracted, right? And we say, okay, now, Let's go and check, make sure that this stuff is already, is still here. So let me deactivate that. Deactivate that. Oops. Deactivate. Uh, what is that deformation translation? Oh, frequency case. That's what I want to deactivate. Right there. Okay, good. Now, let's go to case one. That was this one, the first static case. Set as current, double click on it, it bends. Okay, we activate. Let's go to static case two, right click, set as current, double click, compresses it, right? We activate. Go to uh, current uh, frequency, right click, set as current, double click on the form shape. And all the frequencies. So I am all of this stuff that I did. They're all in this tree, and uh, they're 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 not eliminated. They're not removed. And keep them all here. Uh, let me deactivate this for a second. What is the last step? Uh, last thing that you want to do? You want to do a buckling case of, for example, the case where the left end is clamped. So uh, we have already done this. Uh, in, in case two, right there, static case two, actually the restraint is exactly the same thing. So there's two things you can do. Let's go here. We can say insert buckling case. And when buckling case, it says that you need a static solution. And yes, we have it. It's the case two. It's the case two. Static case, static case two corresponds to the problem that I want to do as far as the load and as far as the restraint is concerned. I select it and I say, okay, so this buckling is going to be using static case two. So let me run it, but I'm not going to run everything. I'm going to say, for example, by, uh, uh, by case, and that is the buckling case, right? And I say, okay, good. And uh, uh, let's look at the def deflection right there, and uh, this is, if you double click on that, it gives you the buckling factor. What that means is that take the load that you had in the case two, which was a thousand, remember this was a thousand? Take that 1,000, multiply it by 99, so we're talking about 99,000 pounds, and that is going to be the buckling load. Uh, buckling load for this problem. This is a factor multiplied by whatever you had in study case two, which was a thousand pound, and you're going to get your buckling load. So notice that I did not have to do, I don't know, several different uh, models for this. 
everything was done within the same uh, same uh, uh, situation. Now, uh, for for example, let me let me let me show you something. If, for example, you go and say, "Oh, you know what? This load, this load, I want to change this this downward load, downward load." Remember the first case. Uh, let me first go to that set it as current case. Double click as the force here, and instead of a minus, I put a plus. Okay, so it should push it up instead of down. This was the current clamp case. Instead of pushing it down, it's going to push it down. Now, uh, if I run, I don't want everything to be run. I want the the case, the first case, to be run again. So that was uh, here, solution one, case one. Leave everything else alone. Don't fool around with it. Okay. So let's go ahead and check it. If you double click on translation, it will go up right there, as you can see. But these things are still there. So for example, if I go to case two, set as current, and I double click on translation, that compression is still gonna be there. You can see that. Or if I go to frequency, right click, set as current. Uh, let me deactivate this one, deactivate that. Uh, double click on before the beep. Oops, that's uh, Now notice that what happened is because frequency case two uses uses static case one, when I try to do this thing, it says you have to run it again. Notice that frequency case the frequency case relied on the static case one, you see that? This relied on that because it relied on the restraints of it, okay? Uh, and this is why I have to run it again. Now, if I had used restraint option instead of a, uh, a, 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 a solution case, uh, changing the load would not have affected it, okay? Because it's a natural frequency calculation, it's just the restraints or uh, what is needed. Okay, good luck. Hopefully that clarifies some issues about what is it that, what are these things, okay? Okay.